Hello guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to see about the application process to the University of Freiburg, which is in Germany. This is a public university, and I'll be applying to the Embedded Systems Engineering course, the MSc in that. So this is the DART website. I'll be mentioning the description in the link in the description box. So it has two index, winter and summer index. So the course is of four semesters and uh, being a non eu citizen citizen the deadline for the course for the winter semester will be 15th may so let us see about the course details so these are the course details you can choose any of the specialization and all that stuff you will get to know about everything on the dart website as well and on the university website as well so talking about the fees it is a public university but as it is in uh, baden württemberg state so you have to pay 1500 euros as the tuition fee for every semester which is a nominal fee it's not too much okay so uh, the requirements are as such you you have to score about 7 ilts band okay so we are on the university course website and uh, i'll just start the application you can read everything over there uh, every every details have been mentioned over there so let us first change the language of the portal it is a campus management tool it is uh, responsible for the application processes okay fine so being a first candidate or uh, like we have to register onto the website or on the portal so i'll go to the applicants page over there i have to first register i have already registered it so i won't take a lot of time over here it's a basic step you have to fill in your personal details your personal details and uh, your um, yes just say okay over here there's a confirmation fine you don't have to write your bid or bn uh, okay just fill in your personal details your contact information and please note that every information over here will be as that of your passport so be very sure about putting down anything over here you have to write uh, each and everything which is in your passport okay so this step is quite easy i'll log in with my credentials i've already got it so um, okay i'm logging in so um, you have to go to the applicants box okay fine so i'll view my application so basically i have applied i'm not applied i have filled the form for the summer semester but i haven't submitted it so it will show me that but i can change it like on the top side uh, just change it to winter semester i just did that fine and um, below is an add an application checkbox or a button so you have to click on that okay so over here i'll be selecting the course which i am going to apply for so just pause the video if you want and uh, just see what i have uh, i've written or i am typed over here my previous university studies like what i have done in my bachelor's with um, the exact course name major name or um, and my university uh, over here will be the same be sure that whatever you are typing uh, is up to date so I have already finished my bachelor's and I have already got my passing certificate so I have mentioned that expected date of completion I have already got it so it's July okay my GPA the range of my GPA is 4 to 10 so it is that and transcript of records for my bachelor's I am uploading I am uploading that over here okay that's it so on the next page I have to upload the passing certificate of if, or if you have your final certificate your final diploma or degree certificate whatever it is you have to upload that over here so i have uploaded the passing certificate because i am yet to receive the degree certificate from the university of my bachelor's okay over here i have to show my english language skills uh, i made a mistake over here i actually had ilts results in my hand but uh, i wrote as english was medium of instruction of my previous degrees okay this is accepted but not for india i'm from india and uh, i have to either give ilts TOEFL, pte or any other kind of english language proficiency tests 
so i made a mistake but not an issue i got a mail from university of fiber admission council and they told me to upload the ilts on the mail so i have mailed them that okay and this page i have to upload the cv and other documents in other documents i have i have uploaded all the lors the that is the letter of recommendation my motivation letter and all the awards uh, or um, achievements that i have done or certifications everything over, over here and that's it now on this page uh, they have given a form you have to fill the form and upload it so you have one option of writing it down i mean scan printing it and then writing it down and scanning it and uploading it but what i did was i used the adobe signature feature and uh, did it virtually only on di uh, digitally so uh, if you want help in this i can help you out i'll i'll be uploading other video to how to uh, digital how to do your digital signature on any document using adobe signature okay i have uploaded it so just next okay fine so the application is almost done you have to cross check all the details in this form now and at the bottom of the web page you have a check box you have to click uh, check on that and upload it uh, sorry you have to submit it the process is pretty simple i don't think that any one of you will face any problem in this process but the thing is that um if if you still have any problem or if you face any issues regarding the submission of the application process uh, you just uh, comment uh, in the, on the on the video i'll help you out so not an issue find this is an application process of one course okay if what if you want to apply for other courses as well that's pretty simple so you have to just uh, click on the add an application tab or the button and the process will be exactly the same just you don't have to do any other thing uh, just just check your courses now i have uploaded for the embedded system engineering course uh, first now for me the other course which i can apply is the micro system engineering which is a little bit related to that so i can apply for that it is a english language course computer science is there but i suppose that is in german language so i won't be applying for that i'll be applying for micro systems engineering other options are renewable energy management sustainable systems you can apply for those as well you can apply as many as you can i think you can apply for four courses if i'm not wrong um but that's more than enough uh, and and i suppose that this information will be very helpful for you and uh, i have made a couple of videos uh, regarding the application processes so please please watch those as well and if you need any other help regarding your master studies in germany or in canada or in usa i am very much happy to help you out please reach me out this is my instagram handle you can ping me over here as well and do follow do subscribe to the channel like the video if you find it helpful and spread it to all those who actually need this video okay so that's all i'll be uploading more of such application videos and other videos as well like the visa process and all the documentations so uh, be tuned on this channel subscribe to the channel like the video comment if you want and uh, do hit the bell icon so that whenever i'll be uploading the videos you will be getting the notification so thanks a lot thanks very thank you very much all the best for your application processes and thank you bye bye